Hello, Patreons, and thank you, as always, very much indeed for being there. It's truly really appreciated. Right, in this dealing with delays, I wanted um, to go into two different projects that I'm seeing currently being, you know, they're happening in Spain, uh, in which they're both very delayed, but both are being received, the delays have been received very differently. Okay, the one is called La Isla de Vier, which is uh, a fifth edition setting that's been published by the most obnoxious and antagonistic troll that we have in Spain. Um, this is the kind of guy, and I'm not joking and exaggerating about this, this is the kind of guy who, despite the fact that he's publishing his own setting, he goes to absolutely every single other crowdfunding out there and obliterates them completely. He just will criticize and insult and obliterate, and whenever anything at all happens, like a delay, to any other project, he will just jump into how badly it is done, how horrifically badly it's being managed, how there is no excuse, and yet his own project is two years in the making and still no sight of it being published. In fact, I think it's never going to be published. Q2, another project that's already three years late, is for a game called Curie. And he committed a mistake, he made a massive mistake that I'm going to talk about in future episodes, which is he over-promised and doesn't want to under-deliver. What does this mean? During the campaign, he promised an insane amount for the money people were paying. But furthermore, every little bit of criticism that he received, he immediately went on to, oh, no, you know, you're right, so I'm going to do even more. To the point that he started to promise that he was going to deliver a few things that weren't part of the deal, like a slipcase. What's happened? That the amount of money he got is nowhere near enough to get this work finished, and he has to be gathering the funds from absolutely anywhere he can to get it done. So it's going really slow. Differences. This guy, you know, um, troll says that he's playtesting and that he's asking everybody about the playtesting and whether they should continue playtesting all the main plots plus the secondary plots plus the tertiary plots but everything else that he's been writing since he started because he's been inspired. Bullshit. It's completely another bullshit. And I know because I know people who backed, mistakenly, idiotically backed his project and He's not playtesting anything. He's not doing a sweet FA. And we all know it. He's completely full of baloney. And we can tell. And people are really complaining and talking very badly about him. Do you think that anyone is going to back any of his projects? Well, only the three idiots who actually follow him. Go on to this other man. And everybody likes him. Everybody's complaining about the delay because, come on, it's three years. But he's being really honest about it. He comes out, he takes it in the chin, he's showing work as the work is being made. He's showing everything. He's trying to still keep people engaged and involved within the project. And people are semi-happy with it. I'm not going to expect that people are going to be happy. Personally, I don't care. And I am a backer of the project. But at least you're not going to have people insulting you. You're not going to have people distrusting when you do the next project, assuming you do. I don't think any of these two guys will. But one is looking like an asshole. The other one is looking like somebody who made a mistake. If I have to choose between the two, I know what I'd rather look like. And I don't want to look like an asshole. I really don't. I don't want you to either. So... Seriously, it doesn't matter how long you think your project is going to be delayed. Just keep people informed. Try to keep them part of that project. Keep showing the little progress you're making. And you will have a less unhappy crowd, which is all you can hope and expect if there is a delay in the delivery of your game. Thank you very much once again for being there. And I'm going to be talking to you very, very soon again. Take care.